The investigation into accused Gilgo Beach serial killer Rex Hewerman has led to yet another state. Police in Atlantic City, New Jersey, now looking into whether he may be connected to any cases related to sex workers there. Now that's in addition to police in South Carolina and Las Vegas investigating any possible ties to Hewerman. Eyewitness News reporter Stacy Sager is live in Massapequa Park. Stacy. Well, Sandra, investigators are now retracing more than a decade of this man's interactions. We know that Rex Hurman met some of his alleged victims as far back as 2010. So the question now, where will the evidence lead next? In a case that continues to stun those who live here in Massapequa Park, one neighbor who lives right next door to the alleged Gilgo killer, reflecting on nearly seven days now of just about everything investigators could remove, from large backyard furniture to computers to Playboy magazines and much, much more. What's been the most significant thing you've seen them pulling out of this house? Guns, one after another. As the Suffolk County Sheriff's Office reveals now that the indictment against Rex Hurman is unsealed, they're questioning sex workers currently in the county jail system for any other potential connections to the alleged serial killer. We do know others have had close calls. Former escort Nikki Brass, who says Hurman solicited her approximately eight years ago. I had a really, really bad feeling, like my gut was like telling me I needed to get away from him. Especially when he actually mentioned the Gilgo case, she says. When he talked about it, he would like speak in a they and hypothetical, but he had this like smile on his face that made me really uneasy. She ended the date early. Meanwhile, the investigation now broadened to include Herman's property, both in South Carolina and Las Vegas, Nevada and two of his Chevy avalanches with potential forensic evidence. Anything from uh, uh, hair to uh, a trophy, souvenir, jewelry, uh, anything that can help us connect these victims to that vehicle will be instrumental in strengthening the case. As these neighbors can't help but recall memories of Hurman from the past that seem all the more disturbing now, like when he'd gaze over this fence or when he brought home a giant metal door, which he told his neighbor he needed to seal off a vault in his basement. But he told me back then, this is to protect my guns. Who gets a, you know, a, a door like that, a, a monstrous door that to protect guns? So, so you're wondering what might have been, a, what else might have been? God only knows. Yeah, and there's plenty we still don't know. But today, Eyewitness News learned from the Suffolk County Sheriff that at least two sex workers currently in the Suffolk County jail system right now had prior contact with Rex Hurman through various social media platforms. And they have audio recordings of him. Hurman currently in a special unit in a solo cell in the county jail in Riverhead on suicide watch.